Celebrities have been known to read their comments and some really aren't afraid to speak their mind. Have you seen a clap back from a celebrity that you thought good for them or one that you thought maybe was a little bit too much? Hey guys, I'm your host Lauren and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 celebrities who clapped back at their fans. Starting off at number 10, we have Rihanna. Rihanna being the icon she is, isn't afraid to speak her mind. And you kind of have to love her for it. Known for outright just blocking people who use social media to throw shade, she will also usually throw it right back. Let's start off at the time that Rihanna posted on Instagram urging people to vote in the US elections. A user commented on her post saying, are you even a US citizen? To what she responded back within the hour, saying, Nah, I'm an immigrant trying to get your country together. Did you vote? Rihanna is also one singer who you know believes in quality over quantity, even with her fans. After posting a photo of herself on Instagram, a fan commented saying, You used to look healthy. What happened? See you in Barbados November 1st. Again, she wasn't afraid to respond, writing back, maybe you shouldn't come all the way to Barbados, especially if you're paying. Another fan posted a photo of herself implying she was wearing the same bikini as Rihanna while swimming, definitely believing there's no way the singer would see it. But Rihanna sees all. She responded on the photo commenting, not the same, but K. I guess this could be a warning to everyone. Don't post photos pretending to wear something, pretending to wear the same thing as Rihanna. She will know. Number 9. Ariana Grande Ariana is another celebrity who really isn't scared to come after her fans for criticism. Back in 2019, when the singer was on tour, she shared a video to her fans, a clip from one of her live performances. One fan commented saying, It sounds like auto-tune and probably not live. I mean, you're a great singer and I love your voice, but the song just doesn't sound live. She responded soon after with, All due respect, I could do this in your living room for you, with no sound mixing at all. I could do it on Broadway, and I did. I could do it in the shower, in the car. It's my gift. It's why I'm here. I sing 30 plus songs a night. Every word, it's my thing. Let me shine. During this time, when the singer was on tour, she had to even cancel her meet and greet due to a handful of panic attacks. She wrote to her fans saying briefly, My depression and anxiety have been at an all time high lately. I have been giving you my all, and I've got to try to push through as hard as I can and mask it. I feel like the wisest de decision would be to not do a sound check party or a meet and greet today and preserve my energy. I feel as though the comments she was receiving through her duration of her show definitely didn't help either. But this isn't the only time Ariana has clapped back at her fans. Past month, fans have accused her of not being even a singer anymore. And she was just not having that. She ended up posting a TikTok writing, I wanted to sing you a little something, but didn't want to sing anything not Aussian at the moment. Keeping in my little bubble for now, done with lots of love. She did this to prove even though she hasn't stopped, she hasn't been posting music or singing, she still is a singer of course. She is currently in the filming stages of her upcoming two-part adaptation of the musical Wicked, playing the role of Galinda. Fans responded very well to this post with one commenting, you don't get how much we needed this, love you so much and another sharing how much her voice has matured. At the end of the day, we all know Ariana Grande will always be a singer. Number 8. Nicki Minaj Nicki Minaj, known for her amazing musical versatility, animated rapping flow, incredible outfits, she is also known to not take hate on the internet without a fight. Back in 2022, Nicki had a night out in celebration of her new song. After multiple clips of the party started to emerge online, many fans expressed concerns that she was too old to be partying with people people nearly 10 years younger, with one commenting that her presence at the party looked forced, and another tweeting, I wish she'd move on from this lifestyle, this isn't you anymore. Nicki clapped back, responding in a tweet, tell me you don't know anything about Nicki Minaj without telling me. People really create their own perception of you, then tell you to not be you. This was followed by another tweet that read, my whole authentic come up is, doc is documented for the world to see. YouTube is still free I think. You all want me to be some rich R&B singer and pop star so bad. One thing you can never change is your story. A few Twitter users have, have responded to these tweets with many agreeing she is the queen of clapbacks. Looks pretty clear that if Nikki is going to change, it's going to be up to her. Even in the past, she has responded to criticisms by saying the internet and fans can't run her life. Only she can, and she's not wrong about that. Number 7. Drake Drake isn't one to be messed with, and he proved that when fans brought his son Adonis into a diss on social media. 
Drake commented on a post which was all about supportive dads in basketball. An Instagram user saw this and took the opportunity to take a dig at the singer. Drake wrote, I know I'll be this way, even if my son is in a Rubik's Cube competition. When the other user responded with, your son probably plays with ghostwriters. Looks like Drake took this personally, responding back with, I just followed your girl because she's probably miserable and needs some excitement in her life. Appearing to follow through on his word, not only did he follow her, he sent her a DM saying, I'm here for you. Fans loved this. Commenting how this is legendary behavior with another saying, well, someone just lost a wife. Another legendary moment in a clapback history for Drake is his reaction to being booed off stage. Drake was booked as a surprise headliner for a music festival in 2019, when it appeared like most fans were expecting Frank Ocean. Drake said, to the audience after about 20 minutes of performing, like I said, I'm here for you. If you want me to keep going, I'll keep going. But when the crowd booed and called out cries of no, Drake responded by saying, it's been love, and permanently went off stage. Many have to agree it's kind of painful to watch, but Drake really handled this the best way he could, even joking about having signed a 10 year residency with the festival, saying, see you every single year until you're 30. Number six, Miley Cyrus. Miley has never been shy to shut down a hater and this time was no different. Not long ago, fans began questioning the singer's deeper voice in some songs, people saying how now she sounded like a man. In an interview, she discussed the criticism she's received regarding her singing voice, which has changed in the past year. She says, my whole life, whether in vocal training or just continuing to hone my craft, it's always been about why do you sound like a man? Where is your falsetto? Why can't you sing the high octave and party in the USA anymore? In this song, I get to sing in a low register. I get to live in that authentic, genuine sound. When discussing more about the change in her voice, she goes on to say, My voice is how I represent myself. I've worked with people who tell me we're going to have to bring in a singer to hit those high notes. Falsetto is a Latin term for when boys go through puberty and they still want them to sing in choir. It means false, and I don't have a false voice. She also reveals in an interview that her voice now has a heaviness, and this is what fans are hearing when she sings. Explaining this is because she has gone through heavy things in her life could also be due to her voice suffering over use and going through a vocal cord surgery just that year. Of course, with all that, you would have to expect her voice to change slightly. Number 5. Lord. Lord was not going to give in to the pressures that fans were putting on her to release more new music. Although she had come out with a few singles here and there, there was still no release date in sight for her second album. Fans began to grow tired of waiting around and starting to post comments on the singer's social media. One wrote, do you think we'll ever get another album, or should we just give up on you as an artist? Lord found the comment and responded by saying, Give up on me if you want to. I'm an artist. I write a record when I have enough stories to tell. And it's all me. I've worked like a dog for a year making this thing great for you guys. We can't assume the fan that wrote this comment didn't really think Lord would ever see and respond, and I'm sure they haven't written a similar message on anyone else's social media since. Number 4. Selena Gomez An icon who won't stay clear of mean comments and instead face them head on with ultimate bluntness. We have to admire that. An Instagram user wrote, what's going on with her? Looks like she's going downhill, but everyone in the comments is cheering her on. Selena responded within a day saying, I'm pretty sure I'm doing better than ever, but thank Thanks for pretending to care. This comes not long after Selena opened up about fans making comments on her body and her weight. She said in a TikTok, Honestly, I don't care about my weight, because people complain about it anyway, saying you're too small, you're too big, it doesn't fit, I am perfect the way I am. Moral of the story, bye. In the past, Selena has stayed clear from social media, talking about how it can be very dangerous. She calls this time in her life the best decision that she made for her mental health. She then goes on to say, I'll have moments where that weird feeling will come back, but now I have a much better relationship with myself. Number 3. Camila Cabello Back in 2022, during Camila's performance at the 2022 Champions League in Paris, the singer was really not having it, and fans weren't providing, really was not having it when fans weren't providing her with their full attention. During the performance where she performed a medley of her top hits, just an hour before kickoff, had fans torn. Reports of security guards being overwhelmed started to appear, along with footage of fans jumping the gates in order to see the event. The game ended up being delayed 36 minutes. Liverpool fans had to struggle to get into the venue. The stadium ended up taking their frustration out on Camila and she was already off to a bad start when they booed her opening performance. When she really started to get into her performance, Liverpool fans started loudly chanting the Liverpool anthem over her songs 
all together as a group. In a now deleted tweet, the singer wrote, playing back our performance and I can't believe people were singing their team's anthem so loud during our performance. My team and I worked tirelessly for so long to bring the right vibes and give a good show. She followed this with another tweet saying, very rude but whatever, I'm glad you guys liked it. A few fans were quick to argue that the fans responded accordingly. I love Camila, but not before a Champions League final. Spare me this NFL style stuff. And another responded to Camila's tweet, commenting, just so you know, European sport fans are passionate. Many fans live for their clubs. It's their lifestyle. Not like the USA where people come just for the show. But what did you think about her clapback? Number two, Halsey. Well, many celebrities keep their clapbacks in exclusively for the internet. Halsey delivered hers in person right to the source. After leaving the BBC Radio 1 building, she was bombarded with fans and paparazzi. When arriving at this scene, she delivered her clapback right then and there. Going on to say, I'm getting a lot of really rude comments right now from people saying I'm effed up and that I swerved you and I'm being rude or mean. Not for nothing, but I've been in the press since 8 o'clock in the morning and I have a lot of interviews to do and I'm still doing them. I would never just walk by you and not meet you. I have a busy, very busy day too and it makes me very upset. Please don't be mean to me. She then continues into her car and it seems like fans are a little bit more sympathetic. I mean, she is only human. Last but not least, we have Justin Bieber. After Justin posted a loving photo of his wife Haley, some fans weren't too interested, not loving a public display of affection. The photo showed Haley posing with no makeup on, gushing about how beautiful she was. One fan in particular wasn't buying it, leaving a comment that said, you don't need to do this. If you love each other, just live and enjoy it without trying to appear or force someone else that you're in love. Justin was quick to respond back and to not let this judgmental post ruin the moment. He commented back saying, I'm not going to force it down anyone's throat. You follow me. Should I not make songs about loving my wife or being in love? Or is that shoving my love for her down your throat too? This is my life. Unfollow me if you don't like what I post. I mean, sometimes celebrities are going to post what they love, and maybe there isn't always a hidden agenda, like this one user had thought. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. What do you think is the best celebrity clapback? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one.